Hello, everybody. My name is Eric Ulrich. I am a co-founder at Hacker Lab and consultant on the CCC Maker Grant Program around digital badges. My job is to help you set up a digital badge program and to facilitate collaboration and information sharing around that topic. So for today, we're going to dive into digital badges. We're going to learn about what they are, why they're cool, who's using them, and give you the tools and resources you need to get started in prototyping your digital badges. So let's dive right in. All right, I find that it helps to, to kind of take, take a step back and just kind of start with the basics. So what is a badge? Everybody knows what a badge is. It's some sort of mark or emblem that's typically worn that represents a skill, an achievement, often an achievement, um, or a membership, so as to say, in something. Um, and so we're all familiar with what badges are. What is a digital badge? So a digital badge is basically an internet's version of the same thing. So a digital badge is a badge that lives on the internet. Uh, it, it, it contains metadata and it's shareable across the web. So what is metadata? Basically, the metadata is the data that it that is behind like what it took to earn that badge. So what the badge name is, who issued the badge, and then like the the the, the skills or evidence or achievements that were associated with what that badge actually means. So because it lives on the internet, uh, data like that can be stored within the badge. So Who's issuing badges? Anyone can create and issue badges, any organization. So this is corporations, schools, government organizations, community organizations, um, other types of groups can create and issue badges. Here's some examples of some, some bigger names that are creating and issuing badges today. There's over 2000 organizations that are issuing badges right now. And there's a link below for more info on those examples. Uh, one example here is the IBM Design Thinking Collaborator Badge. And I want to draw your attention to what it takes to earn this badge. And these are the types of activities that it takes to earn this badge. It's demonstrated ability um, to knowingly discuss and then has shared personal experiences driving outcomes with IBM's design thinking. I think this is uh, pretty interesting what they chose here to demonstrate what it takes to earn this badge. And now this badge earner has this on their portfolio that they can share um, on their LinkedIn profile or future um, uh, potential clients or employers. And so in contrast to that, here's a Santa Barbara Community College badge. The Santa Barbara Community College has a really cool and interesting badge program. And what it takes to earn this badge uh, is completion of courses. So you complete these three courses and you earn this badge. You know, notice how that is different than how IBM has set up their badge program. It's really up to the issuer to design the badge program the way that they want to do it to drive um, the behavior that they want to see. And then, of course, the badges are shareable across the web. You can easily share them on your LinkedIn, your Twitter, your Facebook. You can email them. You can embed them in a blog or a website. You can just have the URL that you share, or you can download it and move it around. Um, so why are badges cool? This is kind of a high-level overview from the three different key stakeholders in the badge ecosystem, the issuers, the recipients, and the consumers. So from the issuer's standpoint, it's flexibility in design. You know, the issuers have a lot of options when designing their badge program and specifically designing uh, the, the, uh, the activities and the, the incentives to drive the behavior that, that they want to see. And we'll dive more into that. And then also data tracking. Because they're on the internet, the, the issuers, the badges can track, the, the badge issuers can track how their badges are being used, how many people are seeing them, how they're being shared. And essentially, like 
like what the impact of their badges are in the broader ecosystem. The recipients have now, once they earn a badge, they have proof in a digital format that's easily shareable uh, across the web. And when they collect multiple badges, they can start to paint a picture of their skills and achievements and their story. This complements the traditional degree programs um, and learning certificates. So um, it's that's uh, the key benefits for recipients. And then the consumers, this is the consumers can be employers, they could be college administrators or anybody who's like reviewing a, an applicant uh, to decide if they want to work with them in some capacity. And really what they get is trust. They can see proof that the recipient has the badge and has the skills that they say that they have. So those are some high level benefits for uh, the issuers, the recipients, and the consumers. Okay, so uh, what does it take to earn a badge? Now that is the choice and the design, um, you know, the choice of how the issuing organization wants to design their badge. And this really comes down to what is the behavior that you want to see? And so you can design your badge to meet that. And whether it's assessment, um, volunteering course, here's some examples. Um, there's, a, there's a list of example um, activities that you can choose from that make it a little easier to get started on thinking about this because really the possibilities are limitless. Um, and so because of that, now we have to start thinking as you know, program designers and, and really you know, understanding what are the what are the the needs and and goals of the stakeholders involved in the badge and you know so what do these people want to accomplish and then where do their interests align and so my hypothesis is is if you can identify what they want to accomplish and then identify where they align and design your badge activities to fall within those uh, your badge program will be a success. So that's my hypothesis. Um, we'll see where it goes. I'm excited to explore and dive into that a little bit more. Um, okay, so just a couple of technical things that seem to cause confusion around this. I really feel like the digital badge stuff is not that confusing, but it also is extremely confusing just because of the way that it's been presented and the hodgepodge of information out there in the marketing and the descriptions of it. So I'm just going to kind of go briefly over some things that I've noticed have confused people. So people, um, one of the things is Mozilla, like these are Mozilla badges, are these Mozilla badges? And so Mozilla started the open badge standards. Essentially, this is like the technical specifications of what a badge is. And, and so they, they are like the core, the core um, you know, like organization, overseeing organization that um, structures what a badge is. And now all these other organizations are building off of those standards. And so you can find that information on openbadges.org. And so Mozilla actually started it in 2012, but they handed off the... Um, the ownership of this to the IMS Global just at the beginning of 2017 in January 2017. So now there's a like a consortium of organizations that are involved in developing its open badge standards. So I highly recommend you checking out openbadges.org to dive more into that. That's where a lot of key information um, that's trusted on what badges is um, is located. So issuing platforms, I hear you need like to sign up with a claim or Credly or Badger. I heard about this other one. Like, what is this all about? Um, and these organizations make it easy for you to design and implement open badge programs that are based on the open badge standards. And so these are just three of multiple technology platforms that make it easy for you to create your badge program. And then backpacks, I heard you need a backpack to, to do this. What, what are these backpacks all about? 
So all, all of these issuing platforms have backpacks built in. Backpack is basically a place where you you keep your badges. And now this person, Gileson, can just send a link to his badge backpack and people can see all of that. So Acclaim has a backpack built in, Credly has a backpack built in, Badger has a backpack built in, and there's other backpacks out there that you can choose. It's not something to get hung up about. Um, it's just a place where all the badges live. Okay, cool. So I feel like that's some of the basics. Uh, let's move on and create a badge. Feel free to email me, eric at hackerlab.org, if you want to chat about this, you have questions, things are confusing, anything. Um, so thank you very much.